darlings and welcome back to yet another video by auntie darling thank you guys so much for joining me yet again on another video where we will be talking about our 20s this one is one that hit that kind of sort of hit home because i just felt like we were when i say we you guys will understand why i say we but i just felt like i was being attacked and it's not by people but by a lot of um, um, videos that I watched concerning this type of um, subject, which is um, how to look expensive on a budget, especially in your 20s, right? So when I, I, I'm big on feminine hygiene, femininity, watching all of these videos where I can elevate myself, watching videos where I see other women talk about their experiences or how they go about their daily life, taking care of themselves, taking care of their of everything that is making them feel good. You know, I believe in 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 watching videos that I know will elevate me, videos that will that will make me think more about how I want to look, how I want to dress, how I want to carry myself and all stuff like that. So, I've been watching a lot of um femininity videos like I said and how to elevate yourself and all that other stuff, hence my previous video where I was talking about how to elevate yourself in your 20s. And then now when I watch this one and I'm just like how are they always bashing? I feel like I feel, let me just say, I feel it's not what they're doing, but I feel like they're always bashing women with tattoos, women with, with long nails, women with jewelry that with, with like excessive amounts of jewelry, women with bright color, um, eyeshadows. I just, I just think sis, no, it, no. So I was like, I want to make a video where I talk about my personal experiences. You guys always know whenever I do a video that I feel like I'll be talking to you guys. I always say it's from a personal standpoint because I never want to step on anybody's toes. I never want to make an example about someone that's going to take, that's like going to put them off or they're going to take it the wrong way. So I always say this is from my personal standpoint and from my own personal reasoning and capacity. So th today's video <laughs> will be about how to look expensive on a budget in your 20s okay let's 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 do that again how to look expensive on a budget in your 20s all right so you know today i have the book when i have this book it, it means i'm 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 serious i'm i'm here to talk about business okay so i, I always write down the points because i never want to forget any of them and i never want to think i'll mes um, i'll memorize them and next thing i don't so I have um, nine points. If I think about any more during or along the way, I will definitely let you guys know. So we're just going to get into them and I'm going to tell you personally how I do it. <laughs> so the first one is make sure your hair is always fire. I think when you want to look expensive, jet black. And and guys, please don't don't think because I'm saying jet black, I'm saying other color hair is not nice. It's definitely amazing. But like, just try think about yourself wanting to look so beautiful and so high end, and 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 look expensive, but you're wearing pink hair. I don't know. I'm not sure. But what I feel is, I think that's why today I also have jet black hair because I wanted you guys to understand the whole thing. When I mean when I say jet black, middle part bone straight hair something about bone straight hair just gives that thing that this is expensive it gives you that illusion that this woman is not taking gains from anybody it's just sleek it's straight it's clean you know obviously there's also nice hair which is the curls or whatever but i just feel like curls give an exotic look which you don't want to go for when you're trying to be like trying to draw that sophistication thing to you you know what i'm saying so Jet black hair, you see, it's just straight, it's sleek, it's gorgeous. You can put it at the back, you can put it to the front, but I just think when you do this, you just, your face is all up in their faces. So make sure that your hair is always neat, make sure that your hair is always fire. A high bun, I would highly recommend a high bun so that you just put small Diana baby hairs there and you're out, you're good to go. It's so, it's professional, it gives off that look that you put together because it's so sleek. 
basically slick hair. Let me just say that. Slick hair, black hair. It can be brown if you prefer brown hair, but I just think black, jet, hair, jet black hair, sorry, is just a staple in your, um, what's this, your elevation and wanting to be the baddest bitch and wanting to look expensive on a budget. So there are places where you can get affordable jet black hair you can get it from satai like i said on my previous video i was hell bent on buying hair from satai or you can go through the videos that i've made where i've done um bone straight hair also i see hair i see hair is amazing when it comes to bone straight hair they have amazing quality hair and you guys know that whenever i review hair i always sell it but when it came to i see hair i was like mm -mm, i absolutely love 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 this hair i'm not gonna sell it so i bought mina myself i went to go buy um long hair and the quality remained so you will never go wrong with straight black hair because also i feel like it's two way you can you can also curl it in a sense of you don't have to buy two wigs you know you can buy one but also be able to curl it so make sure your hair is fire make sure your hair is neat make sure that if you want to draw the necessary attention to yourself but which is good attention black hair brown hair is all the way to go of course on those specific days you want to wear blonde hair which is totally fine you can do that but i just think blonde hair for an everyday look may not shout or scream sophistication or expensive you just you know i just feel like blonde hair is just one of those days when you want to be a bad but not every single day i don't know because nini leaks pulls it off every day but personally like i said me it's black hair just stick to black hair straight sleek and you're good okay and the second one is dainty signature slash jewelry i'm not sure about dainty because me as you guys know me i'm big i'm very very big on jewelry i just feel like it makes you look rich it makes you look like a baddie it makes you look like you are you, when i say expensive expensive when i say expensive this is what i mean it makes you you know it doesn't have to be a loud statement when because i'm 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 a genuinely like not loud person but everything that i do i just want it to be over the top if it's my makeup then it has to be too over the top if it's if it's my jewelry my nails all the things that i feel like i accessories will be over the top because when it comes to dressing i'm not that much of a person who will go out of their way to have statement pieces of clothes no i'm mostly a jean and t-shirt and heels type of hat that is who i am a shirt whatever but when it comes to my jewelry i will definitely make sure just Pieces that you feel will stick out. Pieces that you feel will make you feel it will grab attention. Cause just like this, this is this is I feel this is simple. It's beautiful. It's just the chain and a lock that I got off my this is an X. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is my yeah, there you go. That's an X. And I have gold earrings and like three rings, a watch <laughs> and another cuffling. I just love bold accessories. I just feel like they make you stand out. You you screaming before you can even open your mouth because they're so bold. But yet they look, you know, they make you look expensive. You know what I'm saying? So gold jewelry doesn't have to be gold. There's amazing. I bought my earrings from Mr. Price, just so you know. I bought my earrings from Mr. Price, my customer necklace from um Julia. You should just go through my timeline, you'll see. There's one where Miss Exo is there. So these ones, you can go and buy them from there. Because you guys always ask where I get my custom jewelry from. I get them from Julia um, Jewelers. Yeah, Julia Jewelers. Just go through my timeline on Instagram. Just go down. You'll find it. Julia Jewelers. And yeah, this is literally all. I'll make sure that there's one, there's a watch on my right hand. And there's, an, there's a bracelet on my... I can Sometimes I don't have to wear the bracelet. But whatever I do, I don't care even if... I'm late somewhere. I don't care even if I'm running errands. I will make sure that I have jewelry on. When I'm running errands, it's mostly studs. And I'll wear my Miss Exo um, necklace. I don't think I wear my rings when I'm running errands. But this is when I want to be, when I want to make a statement. I'll definitely be this babe who is all up in your face. Okay? That's another tip on how to look expensive. The third one is hygiene. How are you going to look amazing, but you don't smell amazing? You know, how are you going to look amazing, but you don't smell amazing? I inv I had a live with Maria. I don't know, but this live was just so impromptu. Me and Maria went on a live 
and we said to you guys guys there's so many ways for you to smell good you know i shall i specific i have um a skin problem so i can't use all of these specific showers or um, shower gels or whatever so it's either i have to use um pure soap or the Senex um as a pure gel water but it's the Senex one i can't use anything else if i do i'm gonna have a breakout so after that i i don't know how i can't shower with um a fragrant whatever but i can i can i can body my butt with i use body butter from the body shop specifically i use the is it grapefruit i love the grapefruit one from body shop i will put a picture right here so that you guys can see it i absolutely love 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 that it smells so amazing it smells fresh it smells like you just came out of the shower i love that feeling of smelling like you just came out of the shower but also your perfume or your cologne hits the person that's gonna be you know it just gives that that thing that oh she's taking care of herself you look good you smell good you feel good you know what i'm saying make sure that um how was this thing exfoliation is one of the things that you do whenever i exfoliate every sunday especially my body because like i said because of my skin condition i cannot do it like every single time so every sunday i'm gonna take i have i use the exfoliating um scrub from Woolworths. i will certainly insert it here i use the exfoliating scrub from Woolworths. i love it so much i think it's um sugar and i'm not sure about the other components but yeah I use that every Sunday. I just stand in the shower, exfoliate my whole body, sit for maybe like a few seconds because there's no I'm going to sit for two minutes in the shower. It's cold. Sit maybe for a few seconds and I'm out. I shower. Your skin is going to be left feeling smooth. You're going to be smelling amazing. You come out there, put your baby, um, not your baby powder, sorry, put your, your butters. And after that, you just... But I have body spray that I specifically put when I um go to bed. So I don't I don't know how people do like but I but I do that. So that will make you smell fresh. You will smell amazing, you'll feel amazing. Guys, there's nothing like smelling fresh, you know what I'm saying? So if you just put every single um aspect together of wanting to look amazing, then you can also do that by wanting to smell fresh. When it comes to cologne, you don't have to go for the most expensive colognes or perfumes. I showed you how if you want your perfume or your cologne to last longer, take Vaseline. Put it on the focal point of where you're going to put the cologne or perfume. And then you spray there. Let me tell you, it's going to be there for the whole day. Don't even dare say it's not because I'm telling you now. It's going to be there for the whole day. Try it for yourself and you'll come back and tell me what did you think about it because i guarantee i use it oath as much as i use um edp perfumes but i insist on using the vaseline trick because i just feel like it makes them even last 10 times longer than they actually were because i remember in my car there's a spot on the mats where i did not on the mats i don't know what that thing's called i put vaseline and then i put one of my perfumes because i love when i smell when my car smells like me like when someone comes in my car they'll be like mm, your car smells good i'm like thanks i don't want my car to smell like plate or stay soft i don't know people take stay soft and put it at the back of the car i don't i don't like that i don't want my car to smell like this i want my car to smell like me so i did that it's been smelling like that ever since but obviously because of the brand new smell um you know it just comes together once but like i said if you want to smell amazing take the vaseline trick and put it on and trust me you're gonna smell amazing the whole day but hygiene should be top two and not two in your list of wanting to look expensive on a budget okay um the next one is your nails this is the one that annoyed me the most because they were showing um all of these gel nails all of those nails were short and then they were like yeah you must never do loud colors i'm not a, personally i'm not a fan of loud colors when it comes to nails i don't know if you guys have noticed the only nails i'll do is red um i recently did a what is this i recently did a blue which was a french um inspired french or whatever blue it looked great it looked amazing but it's not something that i do every single time because i'm not a fan of color i believe in neutral colors your reds especially red oh red just oozes luxury you know so i love red but also now i've ventured in the neutrals this is the first time i do stilettos and i'm absolutely not the first time i do stilettos but i'm not a fan of stilettos but i'm absolutely obsessed with these and i love them so much but if you cannot afford the nails that obviously your scalps and them because scalps cost round about 
a set by Lelo, it will cost you around about 700, 800 for scalped nails. So if you are not there yet in a sense of where you can wear scalped nails, you can definitely go to your disc games and your clicks. They have press on nails. Those nails will last you, I think, for a week. But I think that's why I don't like press on nails because it's, it's just tedious. Every single week you're applying them again. No, I can't do that. So press on nails. You can buy like those lamps that met those manicure or pedicure lamps. I don't know. They have they very cheap at Marabastad. You can buy them. I think they're 120. You do your own manicure at home. If you love short nails, you definitely can do that. You just put the favorite um color that you want, or I nearly said cutex. <laughs> the favorite nail polish that you want, and then after that, you put top coats on top of it and you're out. That's literally all that you need to do. But personally, I just love the whole thing of sitting on a chair and having someone hold my nails and having them shape from the shape to this to that. That's just luxury to me. I love it so much. And then I see the end product and it's this. I'm just, I, I love everything. So nails should be another investment of yours because I, when you are sitting down, having dinner or lunch, whatever, you, you, you when you want to talk, I don't know, I use my hands a lot. So now imagine you're talking with your hands and then you have sculpted nail polish there. It's not cute. So make sure that your nails are always done. If you are not a babe that is now in the level of having your sculpted nails, you're starting out, you're doing your first year, but you love nails, I would highly recommend press-ons if you can take the, take care of them off more than like a week or whatever. Because also with press-ons, you can wear them and take them off maybe tomorrow and put another color. You know, if you're tired of that one color for two days, you can put another color. There's a variety of colors that you can do. So that's what I love about press-ons. But if you're a boss-ass bitch and you have been in the game, you know that scalp nails are top two and not two. Okay? So, yeah. The next one is makeup. I love being a drag queen. I'm not going to sit here in this chair and lie to you. I love my makeup as loud as RuPaul, whatever. I love it. I love eyes that are bright. I love it when my eyes are sexy. I love lashes. I, uh, crazy enough, I do, I'm not a fan of lipstick. I don't like lipstick. I don't know why. I've tried multiple times to have lipstick on, but I just can't do it. I'm not a fan of lipstick. So the only thing that would be loud on my face is definitely my eyes. My eyes will just be loud because I want them in your face. I want, I have small eyes as well. So when I look at you, you must be just like, hey, you know, and then now you have the way I'm telling you. So if you are a person that likes neutral makeup, nothing is wrong with that. I also love how UK babes do their makeup neutral and then their hair slick back and then they have this big ass earrings. And then they have, I love also, they're going to, they're going to do the, um, the whole cat eye thing because they don't have makeup on so they want to make sure that their eye pops out in everything that you do make sure that your eye is the focal point of your makeup because that's where they see everything your eyes your eyes are the windows to your soul that's what they say so blush yes black women look amazing in blush yeah it means let me tell i put blush i love blush so much but i make sure that my eyes this is the first thing you see before you see me, my eyes. So you make a premium neutral, entirely up to you, but make sure that your eyes are talking to them. Make sure that your eyes are the focal point, the main point. When they greet you, they look at your eyes and that will, that will be literally everything that you need when it comes to your face because your eyes speak to them. The eyes, Chico, they never lie. <laughs> they never lie. So yeah, when it comes to makeup, everything else can be neutral, but your eyes should be top two. And also, if you're going to wear makeup and your eye is loud, never ever wear lipstick that is going to be loud as the same as your eyes. You're going to take everything away from this focal point and put it, and your face is just going to be busy. I'm sorry, your face is just going to be busy and it's just going to be a mess. So make sure that your eyes are the number one focal point of everything. Because I'm pretty sure when someone talks, you don't look in their mouth. No, you don't. You look at their eyes. So yeah, if your eye is going to be heavy, make sure your lip is neutral. If you I'm <clears throat> sorry, if your lip is going to be neutral, then your eye better be heavy because it's just going to gel together and look amazing. Okay, right. The next one is the color of clothes you wear. Color versus neutral. I recently have started wearing a lot of browns. I love browns so much. I just feel like it looks good against the skin. It just looks good on, on, on women of color. 
black women look amazing in brown i can tell you now for free so i've recently started wearing brown and i'm a huge fan of black clothes of of neutral colors if you see me wearing a bright color i don't know what will be happening on that specific day because wow i hardly ever wear bright colors that will make me i just feel like you just stand out too much and now everything is just loud firstly i wear jewelry i wear my eyes aloud now i'm wearing a a green lime green top is just too much don't be scared of color yes you can wear a lime green top as a pop of color but make sure that the other aspects of your outfit are, are, are light are, are soft you know a light um what's this a lime green um shirt with uh white jeans and i don't know white shoes i don't know i don't know how to style color because i just feel like all i wear is black and your neutral colors black and neutral colors just put you there and they set the tone because black is such a strong and powerful color like i can see from a mile away wearing black because that's how much black is a strong color the attraction to you is going to be 10 times more because you know i'm not saying be boring every cloth must be black but i'm just saying personally for me dark colors just scream luxury dark colors just scream luxury darker cut yes thank you i just had a thing moment dark colors scream luxury you can wear light colors in summers you can wear your summer dresses that are beautiful but dark colors just scream luxury for me your dark browns your dark greens your dark green is an amazing and beautiful color i bought a dark green dress i could not stop looking at it because it looks so amazing on me so dark colors scream expensive so if you get yourself your blacks, your browns, your dark colors, you're good to go. You are, you're up there. You're almost there. <laughs> okay. And then the next one is perfume. Perfume, my darlings, you will never go wrong with Zara perfumes. I don't, I know people are going to be like, no, Zara perfumes don't last. They last for me. Gourmand Addict lasts forever. And like I said, once again, the Vaseline trick is going to do what it has to do. It's going to make it do what it does. So, are you done showering or doing your routine or whatever? I never, I don't like putting um perfume or cologne on my clothes because I just feel like, especially when you're wearing like white, it stains them, whatever. So, like I said, focal points, spray there, you are good to go. Obviously, more expensive colognes like your Masons, your Baccarats, your, your Gucci's, your Christian Dior's, your Louis Vuitton, they, they're amazing. So because we are not there and we are still in our 20s, these perfumes that I just mentioned from Zara will definitely help you 10 times more because you're going to feel amazing. You're going to be smelling amazing. And there's no way in that that you're not going to feel like a million bucks because you smell amazing. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't take a lot of money. I think those Zara perfumes are around about... 219 the last time i checked there were 219 definitely yeah 219 so i'm not sure now because my my zara ones i'm not sure i just put them down there but i would have shown you guys now my the ones that i like the most is command dates and then rose garden yeah those those along the lines but all of them i'd like to think they smell amazing because now i've seen also those ranges that they that they've created the, um, the price ranges about i think 600 and something so those ones also smell even better because they last longer than the ones that are like 219 right okay and then the next one is accessories your scarves your sunglasses your handbags you know what i'm saying those smaller kind of things that make and finish your outfit i personally i used to love big bags I used to love big bags. Well, excuse the pun. Excuse the pun. I love big bags still. <laughs> I love big bags. But I used to love big bags. Like, I'm literally talking. I'm looking up there. I see three of my Michael Kors bags. All of them are big. I used to love big bags so much until I realized that, no, every bag has its purpose. Yo, there's too much pun in this. <laughs> every bag has its purpose. <laughs> there's so much pun in my sentence. But, yeah. Every bag has its purpose. With my Michael Kors ones, I've realized that, okay, these ones, they're for errands. They're for if I have a long day and I need to put a lot of things inside there. Say there's going to be my water, sanitizer, 
hand lotion, sunscreen. I put sunscreen at least five times a day, especially if I'm going to be out. And I use the one where I spray, so I'd need a bigger bag. My armor won't fit any, any um, won't fit everything inside. So I realized that my Michael Kors bags are for errands. And, and if I'm running errands and if I'm going to be busy, you know what I'm saying? So I only now carry them for errands. But when it comes to the smaller Anna bags, I feel like a small bag is so cute. It just screams money because it's not loud. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely not loud. It's not taking away from your outfit. It's not taking away from you. You can carry it as a clutch. You can carry it as you're putting it on, what's this, underneath your armpit. You can carry it and put, I especially love ones, those that have chains. You can chain, you can put it on your shoulders. They are just so cute and rather carrying a big ass bag. So those smaller inner statement pieces will make everything amazing. Or like, you know, those headscarves, those Ellis bands that are now in fashion. Those are very, very nice. I like them. And shades, as much as I'm such a huge collector of shades, I hardly wear shades. The only time I wear shades is when I don't have makeup on because I just feel like it annoys me how they're going to make my makeup crease or something like that. So I hardly ever wear shades. The only time that I have shades on, I'll put them right here and it's going to look like, oh, that's cute. It, it looks like it's a statement piece. You know, it's, it, it's a statement piece right here on your, on, your, on your head. So that would look so cute and it looks so nice. Like I said, scarves. If you roll, like I've seen people also, they wear shirts and they like putting scarves on their neck. I'm not a huge fan of that because I just don't know. I don't like that whole thing. I'm, I'm, a, I'm more of, like I said, I'm more of a jeans and t-shirt type of thing. You're over the shoulder tops, your cute jeans, your heels. I'm a huge fan of open, I'm a huge fan, oh fans. I'm a huge fan of open toe shoes because I just feel like my toes are always A1. So we all are different. Also, people who are going to be watching this, they're going to be like, mm, I don't think so. But like I said, personally, we are all different. And this is from a personal standpoint. So accessories, scarves, sunglasses, they just finish the whole, whole look and you are done. Last but not least, this is not a, a point, but rather just me saying that brand names do not equal luxury. I don't want to say names, but people who wear Versace, Versace, I don't know if it's Versace or Versace, Louis Vuitton, they're going to wear Fendi as a top, Gucci track pants, Dolce & Gabbana sneakers, and then carry a Louis Vuitton backpack. And now you're looking like a cartoon character, walking around with all of these gavas, G-Gava, Hova. I love him to pieces and pieces. I love him because he entertains all of us. But sir? But sir? And Muruti, who, Muruti Gucci, something like that. So you see what I'm saying? You you think that you want to own all of these luxurious brands. You want to you wanna look expensive because you think that, of course, they're expensive. So if people see you wearing them, they'll be like, oh, she's expensive. No. Brands do not equal luxury. Your nice statement piece bag is going to equal all the luxury that you can think of. Your watch is, is going to equal all the luxury that you can think of. So don't think you wearing Gucci from head to toe is going to make you look luxurious. No, no, it's not. You're actually going to look cheap. You're actually going to look like you don't have style and you look cheap because all of those things are just too much. And they, there's, too, you, there's too much going on in your body with, you, you know, so yeah those are the points that i had for you guys i think i mentioned all of them i definitely did mention all of them and i'm a like i said i'm a bold human being i love everything being over the top i love my earrings big i love my jewelry big necklace everything i will be there short than if i get a gold thing on my nose and i'll be good to go but as women we feel that the more um uh, i don't know how to put it um I'm, I'm actually emphasizing on the last point as women the more brand names you have the more you're going to look expensive which is not the truth which is definitely not the truth i'll try to look for videos where um there's other women that are showcasing how to dress accordingly and you're going to look expensive you know what i'm saying because with me when it comes to the dressing part i just feel like i'm i'm normal when it comes to dressing i don't like layers of clothing i don't like um wearing a lot of jackets especially in winter I hate going out in winter because I don't want to be wearing layers and layers of clothing. When I wear a top and I wear a jean and I wear, I wear heels, I'm good. So in winter, you have to wear 
hey it's too much socks this jacket scarf head no i can't do that so yeah those were my pointers for how to look expensive on a budget in your 20s i hope they help you and the next person you or your friends or whatever so that we can all look amazing we can all look glamorous darlings but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have any questions for me in terms of your 20s what you want me to talk about next you definitely can put that in the comment section or you can also DM me on Instagram. You guys know I don't play when it comes to my DM. I will definitely reply, yeah? With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate you from Auntie Darling. I will see you guys soon. Bye.